Que pasa adventurers, welcome to San Cristobal de las Casas. Today, we're asking the question, is this the best Pueblo Magico in Mexico? So get ready guys for a day full of chocolate, wild nature, and even wilder markets. Let's go. Before we start the video, make sure to smash that red subscribe button and click the little bell as well to stay up to date with our travels. So guys, these San Cristobal mornings can be a little bit on the chilly side. So we decided to start the day off here at Cacao Nativa in the center of San Cristobal itself. We grabbed ourselves two amazing looking hot chocolates. We got the 100% Mayan and I got the 80% Carmel or Carmelo, I believe it's called. So super excited to try these. Hopefully it keeps us warm for the rest of the day because we have a full day packed full of adventure ahead of us here in San Cristobal. Because we got the higher concentration of the hot chocolate or the higher percentage, if you will, of hot chocolate, it is a little bit more on the bitter side, which is perfect for us because we're both coffee lovers. So cheers guys, on to more adventures, let's go. If you're ever wondering how serious San Cristobal takes the consumption of chocolate. There is this story here that in 1625 the Bishop of San Cristobal was poisoned by an upper class lady because he tried to stop them from serving chocolate while being at mass. So yes, it's next level seriousness. <laughs> oh that was amazing. Our bellies are warm and full. Now on to the market. Let's go. a quick pit stop here in an OXO and if you've ever been to Mexico before you know all about OXO it's the most convenient store around it has everything that you need today we're just sticking with the water from OXO usually it would be a little bit stronger what we would get out of there but we just spent all night with the country collectors and Emily and Tom travels both of those channels are going to be down in the description below so check those guys out San Cristobal de las Casas was the capital of the state of Chiapas up until 1892, but is now considered the cultural capital of Chiapas due to its very large indigenous population. And we are going to take a deep dive into that culture here at the artisanal market, directly located at the church of Santo Domingo. So let's do this. Everything here in this market is being beautifully handmade and some of it is even being made and stitched in front of your own eyes as you're shopping around. It's really incredible. What do you think? Can try it on. See? You're half in the dress. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh, look at you being all cozy and adorable. That's nice. Fits perfect as well. Not too big. What do you think? Huh? It's a little bit big in the back. Really? Yeah, it's perfecto. Muchas gracias. Oh guys, I'm delighted. I just got myself some new threads and a bag of peanuts as well, which we paid 50 pesos for, so... <laughs> gracias. Wow. <laughs> but nonetheless, this is a quick reminder to support the locals when you do come to Chapas especially. 
This market here is absolutely massive. It's so big, you can easily get lost in all of the little alleyways here. Um, I have no idea where I am right now, to be honest, but Luke and I are just in awe about all of the products you can see here. The colors are so amazing, very beautiful, and everything, or I think like probably 95%, of the things here are handcrafted as well so if you are ever in san cristobal definitely come here to the market and support the local economy That market really made us see why San Cristobal is seen as the cultural capital of Chiapas. Right now, we're off to find a cajero and get some cash and let's go explore the rest. So guys, our favorite bank to use while we are here in Mexico is called City Banamex uh, because it charges the lowest level of commission for us as Europeans. But keep in mind as well, there are a lot of people that we know here from the States and they tend to use Banca Azteca because of the exact same reason. The center of San Cristobal is absolutely stunning, but you know what's even more stunning? Nature. So that's why we came just five minute collectivo ride outside of San Cristobal to El Arcotete. Let's go and explore. First scary bridge. <laughs> run, 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 run. <laughs> a little bit of an unknown fact about me is I'm absolutely terrified of heights. So I'm now on the bridge and I'm just going to focus on talking to you guys instead of pooping my pants. Um, so looking forward, looking forward, looking forward, and it's moving side to side. Oh my God. How beautiful is this place? Check this out. Beautiful river leading into the caves. Let's go check it out. Oh, I nearly died. <laughs> I slipped. pesos to generally enter the area here so like it's all kind of an ecotourism park with lots of different types of attractions and then if you want to enter the caves here you have to pay an additional 15 pesos per person <laughs> yeah. I'm born again Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh guys, this is this is a tight squeeze. Oh man, I gotta go nearly on all fours here, so keep in mind guys if you are on the taller side of things. I'm 6'2, 
I'm struggling. <laughs> uh, we made it inside. Look at how beautiful this place is. Oh my God. It's so high, it makes me feel uncomfortable. Yeah. Let me tell you something, the pictures online does this place no justice whatsoever. Get here as soon as you can. This place is stunning. Stalactites and stalagmites all over the place. We found this secret, secret tunnel, let's say, that nobody goes to. We're the only people walking this direction, so let's be different, I guess. <laughs> Literally every corner that you take in here in this cave is absolutely mind-blowing. It is incredibly small and I keep boing, boinking my head off of stuff. Boink! But what an experience. It's only 15 pesos each to get in here, so well, well worth it. We made it down here to the ground level, just where the water here is flowing. I am absolutely wrecked. Um, so we're gonna go and get some dinner. It's been an action-packed day. I'll see you guys at the table. Oh guys, we are at our favorite restaurant in all of Chiapas so far, Taqueria Mexico Lindo, here in the center of San Cristobal. And what a way to wrap up this video. We have three quesadillas each, three different types as well. Bistec, uh, cochinita, so pork, and then we have the al pastor as well. And everybody knows al pastor is delicious, especially when you come to Mexico. It's something you have to try. And these quesadillas are only 18 pesos each. You can't get better than that. The best way to enjoy the quesadillas, especially the one with al pastor, for me personally, obviously it's my own opinion, um, is with some nice onions, some cilantro, a little bit of lime, a little bit of pineapple, and a lot of spicy sauce. And then you can just dig in. It's so juicy, it's so delicious, you need to try it. My personal favorite quesadilla here, just right now, is the chicharron quesadilla. For me personally, I put the salsa verde, or the green salsa, nice and spicy. I layer it on nice and thick. I take a nice pinch of those fresh onions, and then just a nice squeeze of lime over the top. That's all you need. You're gonna have a taste sensation, I'm telling you guys.
guys, is San Cristobal the best Pueblo Magico? Well, that's a hard question because there's over 120 Pueblo Magicos. So it rates very high up on the list, especially for us. Guys, can you guess where our next video is going to be? Take a guess down in the comments. My name is Luke. My name is Naomi. We are Nalu Adventures and we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Peace guys.